we're ready to start on the face. The face. I need my core wool. So cats, okay. <laughs> They're really confusing because I feel like when you look at them from the front, their face kind of looks round. Like when you just look at them straight on, you're kind of looking at some roundness. Now the Siamese might be a little more, more pointy. And then this guy I played with a little bit of long hair on. When you look at them from the side, it's pretty, um, not quite triangular because this is blunt. And then when you look at them from the top, it's pretty triangular. And then the reference chart shows how, so on dogs, is there a glare? Can you see that? You can see it. Okay, on dogs, usually between the eyes to the nose is the same distance as between the eyes to the back of the head. Totally not the case in cats. Hmm. Um, there's a really far distance to the back of their head. And all of that, almost all of that is taken up by their ears. So their ears fold a lot. So they go way, the back of the ear goes way towards the back of the head and the front of the ears come out, you know, towards the eyes. And then from the eyes to the end of the nose is, is a pretty short distance. Um, and that's all, you know, was we're putting this together. I feel like what has happened on mine, like on this guy, um, I think the eyes could be even like a little bit farther down and forward. So I'm going to try and keep that in mind um, as we make this face today. But now the ears, Milo, will you pass me that green triangle? Oh, I just bumped the camera. Let's sit in. Okay. So the ears we're going to make using some pre felt. And you, this is the shape you want a curve at the bottom. And it doesn't have to dip in. But when you fold this around, like let's say this is the cat's head. When you fold this around, if you have too much roundness here, um, it doesn't have that pointy cat look. And then see how much this goes back. So we're going to do this, but like on a much smaller scale when we make the ears. So to start, I need to, I need to get the back of the head bigger. And what I'm going to do is make a double decker taco with the, with the rounded back thick part being the occipital and then the fringe coming forward on the nose. So I get a start to get that triangular, um, triangular feeling. So I'm going to use a half a piece of, um, of core, maybe about three inches long and make a, double decker taco. So about a third of the way down, I fold. I'm going to felt about an inch of space and then fold back. And so this is going to go on the back of the head with the fringe coming forward. And this can come around to the sides. How much are you poofing that out? I'm not poofing it out too much. A little bit. Like, I don't want to pull it totally tight around. I'm trying to leave the bulk of the shape on the top and the side of the face. Is that what you meant? Yep. Thank you. So that starts to give us that that deep forehead and that triangular look from above. Now this is where I'm saying if I put the eyes back here, it's too far back. So I need to get them I need to get them farther forward. So I could have used maybe I could have used like a little bit more wool and felt it larger than an inch because then that would have put the eyes farther forward, but I'm just going to keep it in mind as I, as I work. 
Okay, I want to make a chin. I want the chin to be a ghost. And remember how I folded that armature wire down? I want the chin to fit right against that, um, the round part, and then come back. So I'm going to use, I still have this half a piece of core wool. I'm going to use about like a two inch square, but I want it to be like really condensed. And then it's round, it's almost a triangle, it comes pretty wide but it's nice and round and thick on the end. A lot of times these face shapes end up a little bit too flat. So you don't want it to be flat. You want it to be have a lot of dimension. So I'm gonna actually like kind of stab it back on itself. Because what I'm trying to do with this piece is make this depth to the to the chin here. It's all it's this. So coloring wise, if you were making at this point the tuxedo cat, would that be a white piece? Yeah, if I were making the tuxedo cat, I would put a little bit of the Serafina white on top of this. Um, the Siamese, you can either go gray or I just I've just been leaving them just leaving them off white. Um, this looks like it has a little bit of oatmeal on it, so we, let's do that. We can do a little bit of, a little bit of oatmeal on there. What's your chin look like, Ferris? I'd be happy to show you. All right. <laughs> oh, geez, I almost stabbed you. Yeah, you've got a dark chin. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, I like your whiskers. Thank you. Get out of here. <laughs> so this triangular shape kind of makes their little little cat jaw bones. So it's not just the chin, it's kind of the whole lower mandible. I'm just getting it stuck on for now, but there's going to be there's going to be a lot of shaping involved. Okay. Do, do, do. Okay. Double decker taco, muzzle center, stab. Okay. Double decker taco. Let's do it in um, oatmeal. So we're going to make a small, this is about one inch wide by two inches. We're going to make a double decker taco. Watch and see where this goes and then you'll know how you want to do it. I'm making it about half an inch worth of felted space. So I have this nice sort of thick, rounded, um, edge here. And what I want to do is stab this in between these this folded down wire. And that's going to be the muzzle. I'm going to set it a little bit lower than the chin. Just overlapping the chin a little bit. So I want a nice strong two needles. Oh, they do fit in there. Just be aware that two needles might not fit. Geez, I think I'm in between the wire. So this is his muzzle. And then the sides come around and the fringe just goes up. You're at top coat colors, so this would be I did this in white on the on the tuxedo okay. cat as well. They're all different. Um, you could do it in black.
Okay, so now we have a little nose muzzle, I guess I should say. We haven't done the nose yet. I'm trying to feel, I feel like maybe I went off to one side, or we'll see. Okay. The chin on a cat kind of tucks up and then comes down and then goes back up, like in this little smile kind of. But there's a lot of stab we're finding that will happen once we get all the pieces on. Okay. Double decker, overlap chin a bit, two black eyeballs, two seed cheekbones. Okay. Like I said, I want to make sure the eyes are pretty far forward. So, let's see here. I think I'm going to take a little piece of oatmeal and just fold a pillow. This is a little bit like you don't necessarily need this, um, but I just want to get this where these eyeballs are going to set a little farther forward than this core wool shape that I put on. So basically bringing that rolled edge a little farther forward than where it ended up. Like that. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and make the eyeballs so that I'm getting them into place. Oh my gosh, she looks like a crazy little monkey right now. So I'm going to use some black core and just a narrow strip no matter what color your eyes end up you are starting with black um yes there's a couple ways to go about it you could do it in the color and then rim it with black okay um and then put a black center let's do one each way let's do one one on way the and same one the other. cat on the same cat you're wild and we'll see which one we like better. So I'm just sticking this eyeball in here. Now, there's been times that I've done this and then it wasn't right and I had to put a whole another eyeball. So that's okay. We just want to start getting little placeholders of, okay, this is here and this is there. So let's do the blue. I'm just rolling it in my hand to keep bringing the sides in, pulling it around. You want to hear a joke? Sure. I just got, yeah. What is a Brit's favorite Mexican dish? A Brit. As favorite in, British. Yeah, British. Favorite Mexican dish. Um, I don't know what. A double decker taco. Because <laughs> of the buses? Yeah. <laughs> Did you just make that up for us? I did. <laughs> That's good. I don't make up anything. All right. <laughs> that looks really good. I think you should just call it a wrap. <laughs> All right, we're done. <laughs> looks like a slee stack. <laughs> Remember those? From, did you watch The Land of the Lost? I did not. <laughs> I think people can figure it out from here. So good luck. See ya. <laughs>
A toothpick is a good idea because this is their cheekbone, so you do want it to be firm. So I'm going to wrap a seed on the toothpick. It's the size of, it's bigger than Orzo. <laughs> it's smaller than, it's kind of like an elbow macaroni. What? 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 It's How? Like an elbow macaroni. It is not that size or shape. <laughs> not the <laughs> shape, kind of the width. Oh, it's like, um, Orzo is really small. Orzo is small. What am I thinking of? An edamame pod? <laughs> Pea? It's this big. It's this big. And then this is going to go um, kind of a little bit up as it goes back and down as it goes towards the nose. There's a little angle to that. And you want like a strongish needle. I'm using... Um, I'm only using a 38, but a 36 would be good because it would just, whenever you're tacking something on, it really just nails it, nails it on. Oh my gosh, it's just getting scary. That's no, scary. no, it looks better. There's always this phase, I tell myself. And what's confusing to me on cats, when you look at them, is what, like, what sticks out the farthest on their face? Ah, they're just, maybe it's just me. <laughs> okay, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. It's going to be okay. Because next, we're going to make soft pillow back cheeks. Okay, no, no, no. We need a little, I'm just gonna skip to something easy. We need a little more head back here. So with the um, off-white core, I've got about a two inch piece and it's about an inch wide or three quarters of an inch wide and I'm just gonna roll a little pillow. So it's a little bit soft so that I can stick it on here and This is our best tutorial yet. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think it's me <laughs> being the deciding factor? Yeah, it's all you, Ferris. Happy to help. Yeah. Okay. So, we want to make a triangle this this kind of shape. We do this on the fox. Um, doo -doo -doo. What are you looking for? Well, I'm just trying to decide what to write with. A pencil, perhaps? <laughs> yeah, pencil works. So we want this kind of shape. This is going to be the tip of the nose, and then it's going to come along the bridge of the nose, and then it's going to fan out and become brows, and then the fringe is going to go here. So it's a triangle, but it's um, it's got this swoop to it. So I'm going to lay it out in oatmeal, but I'm going to put some color on here. So I want to get a little darker on the tip, And then a little bit of gray. And what's fun is when you put this on, it all kind of, like when you felt it, um, the colors blend. And then when you put it on, the colors blend. And so you kind of get this real natural looking color changes to your Siamese cat. That is called a gradient. Yes. Who knew Ferris had all this information? Ferris is yelling. <laughs> I'm, I, right, I'm right next to you, Ferris. <laughs> I'm told I have a voice for theater. Who told you that? My mama. <laughs> okay, so I'm thinking about this getting kind of long and skinny. 
and getting pinched in right here. Pretty pointy on the end, although I think I did um, another shape at the end of the nose. To start, I have to lean in a little bit here, Milo, so I might. All right, I'm gonna start by centering it on the head. I wanna make sure, I wanna make sure the point comes down far enough to fold over. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. It's like not getting better. It's definitely getting better. Is my head in the camera? A little bit. I see your earring. Okay. Well, as my mom always used to say, don't let someone make messes for you. Okay. <laughs> just, just make, make your own mess. Go ahead. <laughs> that make, is it. Make your own mess. You come from the South, Ferris? I come, well, I don't know. <laughs> You just have a little bit of a draw in there. Are you a cat yet? Are you almost a cat? Mm, not quite. So one of the things I like, the cats have this like, this line this line and then the way it comes up here so that's like look at reference pictures and you'll see it but that's an important feature to get so my eyes are a little sunk in right now so i have to decide whether i want to take my brows and cheekbones back or my eyes out further but i'll decide that later i'm going to put ears on so that i start to see what's what here when we sculpt these animal faces with the shapes, the shapes are like the pieces that you're putting into place. And then the needles, I don't know if you've ever watched on like Facebook, like these viral videos of people sculpting, but they, they make little shapes, they stick them on and then they use their thumbs and turn them into like these amazing realistic things. So the needles are like our thumbs doing the pressing and saying, you go here, um, you know, you go down here. I want, their mouth actually comes back quite far. So the direction that you stab, um, all of it is important and sculpts. Okay, ears. Um, in your kit is a piece of pre-felt, and this is going to become the actual pelt for the whole animal, like this. And the reason we're using pre-felt is to give it that cat-like skin. And, but out of the corners, probably this front corner is the best place, you're going to actually cut your ears. So, remember I said this has to be roundy, like that. And then if you tug this, you're gonna get that shape I was talking about. It's almost like the shape of a bell. You just go for it, no measuring. Measure, measure. So, and it's okay, because I don't really like, you know, that's gonna work out. It's gonna work out great. Look, it's looking better. It's a proper looking <laughs> pussy cat. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, okay, how big? Oh, jeez. <laughs> I got it. Wait, I got it. You need help? Nope. Okay, how big to make the ears? I don't know. Uh, Siamese cats can have like super big ears. And then, like our friend Ferris. Yes, like Ferris. Possibly crooked. So I'm just going to make them big and then make them smaller if I need to. So I'm going to put a little bit of pink in here. 
This is the melon. And then I think I'll tone it down with a little bit of gray at the bottom. All right, this is a good job for the punch tool. So the pre-felt is like a little template. Because then on the back, I'm going to put my gray, my dark gray. I like giving them a nice dark ear. Do, do, do. Bottom. I honestly don't remember if this is how I did this, but color for it. Oh, there's an even darker gray hidden in my colors. A little bit of the purdy stuff. Try to make it one. I know what you're thinking. Well, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking this looks like a hot mess. I wasn't gonna say. <laughs> Mama Cat always said, don't say mean things. <laughs> she was eating at the time. <laughs> Did you know the hair in the ear is called burnishing. It is? Burnishing? Burnishing. Like a sofa? Yep. And what does it do? Uh, it keeps the ears protected and it helps hear things. The hair helps hear things? Yeah. Picks up vibes? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Harris, are you making stuff up? Because we can't just keep, we can't just throw crap out there on YouTube and It's on the internet, it's, it's gotta a, be it's, true. Yeah. I feel like this got a little, a little too pointy. Don't settle for it. Don't, like, you can work the wool. These cats are a lesson. <laughs> cats are a lesson in working the wool. Like, make it do what you want it to do, is the lesson. I kind of like that. I don't know. I should have a picture. But I think I will just make this pink a little bit more distinctive. Because it got blurry here. At times I've made them too big and actually just cut the edges and that's fine. Where is your mama, Ferris? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> Last I Do you saw... talk to your family? Oh yeah. Yeah, you do? I have a lot of siblings. How many? I have uh, 11. Eleven? Yep. All the same age? Yep. One big old litter. Wow. You want to know their names? Okay, sure. We got Babel, Baxter, Baker, Bookie, Brooklyn, Boxer, Fabio, Fetch, Frankie, Philbert, Foster, and me, <laughs> Ferris. Philbert. That, that's, a, that's a lot of... Yeah, well, that's I, a lot of cats. Do you have any siblings, Milo? Um, it's a good question. I don't know. I was separated from my family at a young age. That you, is sad. You don't remember? I don't remember. Look at a cat and see where the ear goes. <laughs> that's fine. Um, okay. I've been looking at my, and they're weird. They're all like weird bald right here. They're really bizarre. But 
I think the top of the ear is it's sort of more in line with the top with the center of the eyeball. So I've got mine out a little bit far. And then let me get rid of this. And then the bottom of the ear is kind of in line with the bottom of the eye, or that like if you were to take a line from the corner of the eye. That's what I'm saying anyway. So center of the eyeball to the corner of the eye. I'm telling you, ears make they they make it really happen. Oh yeah? Well it's looking a lot more like a cat. It is? I think so. Okay, good. What is freaking me out right now is this. Maybe the two colored eyes. Yeah, that's, that's a part of the problem. Whose idea was that? <laughs> and then, is their head like triangular here? Like, is it in here a little? I think it is. You know what I mean? Like, if you look at it from here, is it in on the sides a little? I think it is. Okay. Let's make a little pink nose. It's going to go on the end here. Oh, i got to stab this a little bit more. Good to look at it from every direction and make sure everything's centered. And <laughs> nose, nose. All right, I'm not gonna do the soft pillow back cheeks because. Okay, so we want to make a tiny little triangle. off some of this fringe so it really is a little little triangle and then don't mind my hands I was messing with dye so I've got some stuff on my hands and then with a single needle I'm gonna put the point down and then try to give it a fold that gives it a um, like a right angle So keep some of the volume in there. Yeah, and then you can actually create the nostrils by stabbing in on the... So a little bit of black or like dark gray. In this nostril is good. Just keep stabbing in the same place to keep it nice and small. It's good. I think this eye, the black eye, needs to come a little farther forward. Oh, I figured something out good about the eyes, too. I'll show you. Okay, that is a little big. <laughs> You got a big nostril and a little nostril. There we go. I'm 
I'm just going to pull that eye a little bit farther forward so that we know what we're looking at here. I think it'd be cool to make a cat with two different colored eyes. All right, so this is what's interesting to me. To get the cat like look, like look, you really want these cheekbones to come up and for this line to come, come down. And cats are all different. Like some of them have um, like a little dip in their nose. Some of them are real straight here. But one thing I'm seeing is this chin needs to come in a little bit more. And then everything with the color, I'm just going to keep blending. Um, and I'll show you as we go. All right, I'm liking this side. I'm liking both sides, I think. I just got some, I've just got a lot of refining to do and, and color changes. Hey there. Hey there. Hold there. Hi. <laughs> so I was just saying to Ferris and Milo how a lot of our tutorials, um, come together pretty much at this point it's then it's just a little bit of stabbing but this has more color changes and some sort of fussy things that I'm going to do so we're just going to work together hopefully your cat is coming along okay and um and I'm going to talk w about what I'm doing and why but these depending on what yours looks like this at this point this is not necessarily a step-by-step -step situation does that make sense Yes. Yeah. Okay. Like, you know, you may or may not need these things. Per I'm diem. Doing. Per diem. <laughs> um, what does that mean? It means by the day. I thought it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what, is it? what did you thought it mean? It could mean? What is it when it's per piece? Oh. Um, I don't know. Do you know? By the piece? Per diem. <laughs> oh, 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 I know what you're thinking of. You're thinking of, like, even, like, if you got paid by the piece, that would be the word. Well, piecemeal. <laughs> but. Piecemeal. Per diem. Um, all right, we'll think of it. It's going to pop into our heads. Somebody's, like, frantically typing a YouTube comment as we speak, knowing what it is. I'm just making it blending a few colors together. I'm going to put this under the eye. And I'm going to use a shingle technique where I'm going to put this against his face and stab it in right up to the eyeball. I'm covering the um the cheek and then fold it over. side. And yeah, like I said, the, the Siamese, I have a couple of reference pictures up and they all have different amounts of coloring. Some of them don't even go very dark. This is probably the darkest I'll go. One thing I do notice though is that if they do go dark up to their eye, they have a little light rim under their actual eye. Did you find it, Ferris? No, I was thinking maybe just tapas. <laughs> tapas? I like tapas. Hey, tapas is food, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Whatever the word is for as needed. Yes. Now, just to make sure that I have this I'm going to put the black line in the top of the eye. So I'm going to twist a little noodle and I'm going to stab this in 
to create the line that I want. I'm going to attempt to shift to get you in the okay. middle. Well, I can't, if you can on do these, that. On these fussy things, yeah, it's hard for me to be too far away from myself. All right, so I just stabbed like a line in here that's it'll it'll show up more on the blue side I probably should have done it after I put the blue in the black eyeball so I'll put the blue in the black eyeball so you can see what that looks like it is starting to look like a cat that's the good news <laughs> but I haven't completely led everyone astray I do not like that needle it's not strong enough this one's bent So the Siamese eyes might kind of tilt up a little bit more. Okay. So to put the blue into the black eyeball, I found that if I take a little bit and then hold it between my finger and thumb and wrap this tail around you can feel it between your finger and thumb turning into a disc see like when you open it up you have this little circle I need a little smaller so I'm pull it a little tighter like that and then I can put that into the eye it's a fancy little move. I've never seen you do I that know, before. I know. I just figured it out. <laughs> Let me go get that. Ferris is making himself useful. <laughs>